okay no i did not hi guys welcome to my channel and stupid me was talking for like five minutes straight without hitting the record button so we're gonna go ahead and do a little catch up and i am going to tell y'all where i am at um they have changed my schedule for this week so i'll be working 10 in the morning till 7 my employer time which would be 9 a.m. my time, 6 a 6 p.m. my time, which would be 10 p.m. 10 a.m. their time, and 7 p.m. their time. So it's an hour. It's confusing, but I still luckily have a job and I'm doing very well. Um, I just did my first full day back from being extremely sick, so I am doing better than ever i had some stomach issues but we were able to get that under control and we were able to get that taken care of so why i am talking i'm going to do a nighttime skincare routine because i haven't done one in a while and I want to do one and I want to show you what I'm using because my skincare routine has changed. I am using, this is the equivalent to um, Cetaphil um, and it works well on my skin. I really love it. It's for all skin types, fragrance free, non-irritating non formula and I got this at Drug Emporium in my hometown. So, um, the other thing I like to use is the Lumi deodorant, uh, courtesy of my Aunt Michelle. Um, I use this. My mom does not like the smell, but it really keeps down everything. And especially when I go to work out, it's sandalwood and citrus. So, we're going to go ahead and put some on tonight. I'm one of those weird people that in the summer I like to put deodorant on before I go to bed and tomorrow night's my shower night so that's good but I wanted to do a video about my skincare routine and how it has changed since I've been another year older or about to be another year yeah okay here we go Okay, first off in my skin, my nighttime routine, I start off with brushing my teeth. Um, and tonight I'm going to use the um, Crest Wiscope toothpaste. And I'm going to do that real quick. And I'm going to give you all an update on everything in my life um, it is September um fifth no six okay so I'm gonna give you all an update on why and why I start stopped filming as much as I was and and what happened in my life to make me decide whether or not I wanted to leave YouTube. Um, there was a lot of family members that did not like the fact that I put a lot of myself and a lot of personal information about myself um, because of what was going on in my life at the time and they did not think it was safe that I talked about my work that I talked about 
um, life in general in that I would open so many doors to not so good things because there's a harsh reality, especially when you share so much. Even though I don't share a whole heck of a lot, I still share a lot about myself. Um, So, a while back, I had started sharing a little bit more than I should about certain things that probably shouldn't have been shared in my life. I was not thinking of the harsh reality that, you know, putting yourself out there, especially when you're on social media. In a million years, I did not think that my ex would try to friend people that I had worked with, friend people that I knew, and um, do it using one of Using, um, ha ended up hacking my Facebook, so I deleted my Facebook. I went ahead because sorry, I'm just getting it ready to wash. So had deleted my Facebook because of this because there were certain posts and people started getting concerned and I would too if um, so one day I asked somebody to show me the post and there was a post on there that I was engaged and people started congratulating me and people started um and saying congratulations and there was more posts on there that were kind of disheartening and people started reaching out to me people I didn't know on social media and that kind of made me uncomfortable um the person had said that they had followed me on Facebook and was concerned because a lot of posts were out there like there was one I'm not sure what it said but my mom did see it and she asked me if I was okay and I said yeah um so so at that point in time I decided that I was just fed up at that point I was fed up fed up Set up. Then I get a a couple days ago I get this message or email. It was an email from one of my subscribers telling me that there was a picture of me used on a dating site and I said, Can you show me the profile? Can you show me the picture? They said of course. So they did. So I contacted the dating site. I do want to let everybody know out there that watches this channel or will see this video. I do not, I am not on a dating site. I do not feel comfortable on dating sites. I would never use a dating site. 
and all that jazz. So a couple days go by and I get another message. And this time it's on my old Instagram that I have deleted. I no longer have that Instagram. Um, it was deleted and I don't talk about it. Like I don't, I do have an Instagram but I'm never hardly on it. And so this person reaches out to me and they're like, hey, um, I'm kind of concerned because I saw some of your videos and I'm really concerned for your well-being. If you need a friend or need anything, please contact us. So I'm like, what is going on? So I, several people that I had worked with starts messaging me and asking me if I'm okay. I want to tell everybody I am perfectly fine. I work a full-time job. I rarely leave the house because I work five days a week. And sometimes it's just on my days off, which I only get Saturday and Sunday off. I just want to relax, sleep, or do laundry. Um, and because I've been sick with stomach issues, um, because I have acid reflux disease and other things. Um, some person was concerned enough, and I appreciate the people that reached out and said, hey, you're not alone. But I want to inform everybody that I take my life very seriously. I live it to the fullest. I would never um, harm myself or do anything to myself because I'm so ate up with myself. I love myself. It's just my love affair is so great that I love myself. And um, this person showed me some of the posts that were made and I want to tell you that was not made by me. Um, that was not made in any Thing. I do believe in love. I do believe in things. I do believe in happily ever after. I'm a big sucker for, I'm a hopeless romantic. Um, but I do want to say that I am very guarded because sometimes in this world you have to be. So I do guard myself a little bit, but I would never um, and we're going to use this. Um, I would never, I want to put this as delicately as possible. I would never do anything that would not bring honor to glory, God, honor to glory and honor to God. Okay. Especially on this channel. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I don't know why that was made. I don't know anything really. All I know is that I've been getting messages asking if I'm okay or asking if there's anything anybody can do for me. And I think it's really, really sweet and I appreciate it. But at the same time, I'm perfectly fine. I've just been working and going to school and focusing on being an adult. So that didn't always mean putting a camera in my face and doing things like this. Um, so I don't feel right now um, so social medias were deleted and I just went on with my life. Um, then I get a message from this girl telling me, you should not stay in an abusive relationship. You should not be in an abusive relationship. It is not safe. And I'm like, what is she talking about? And I think 
what she was talking about because I used to talk to, about my ex on this channel a lot. I think she thought I was still with my ex and she like had throwing pamphlets and giving me numbers to the domestic violence hotline and I am not with anybody right now. I'm single as a Pringle and I'm not dating anybody. I don't even talk to my ex anymore. I have not talked to him in about a year. Um, so I haven't talked to him since 2021. And we're in September of 2022. So it's been a long minute. And this person was just like, hey, I'm here for you. You're not alone. I do appreciate that. I do. I think her handle was I love God, um, which I do too. I'm with you there, sister. Um, but I was just like very thrown back by it. And um, I haven't seen or heard from my ex in a while. Um, we don't talk, we don't do anything. And then somebody reached out to me saying that there was a baby registry in my name. I want to clear that up as well. There is no, there should be no reason for a baby registry or anything of that nature. Um, and all that. So... I did want to clarify that before it got way out of hand and I appreciate y'all watching this video and you can give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Y'all have a good one. Bye.